Hello everyone. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Listen, I know it's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube. Um, probably a few months. I mean, Sky is going to be eight months old really soon and I don't think I've uploaded anything since I gave birth. So thank you for continuing to follow this journey. Even though I'm not super consistent on YouTube, I'm very consistent on Instagram, but not super consistent on YouTube. Um, so please forgive me, but I will try to video our entire move, life, new adventure, just so much is happening. Um, and you're probably watching this video because you saw my announcement that I will be leaving Texas, I'm leaving the US, um, and Extreme, uh, which is really sad because Extreme was probably the best company slash team slash business that I've ever been a part of. And yes, Extreme does belong to Schlumberger, so I've never really left Schlumberger. Uh, for those of you asking, thinking, or, or confused as to what who is Extreme compared to Schlumberger, we were a business owned by them. And uh, now I'm kind of just going back into the big blue, um, something that's very exciting, but obviously very um, scary, uh, just because I've been part of Extreme, you know, our little bubble, our little side business in the US for, you know, almost four years. So it's gonna be, a big challenge, I think, for me, for A, going to a completely new country, new culture, uh, new customer set basis, just how things are done in different countries this is very different from the US, from what I hear. Um, so, you know, a huge learning curve is coming my way, um, but I'm very excited about that. And I think um, just having a positive mindset on challenges and opportunities that come your way and just taking it. So yeah, this video is basically um, just trying to explain kind of everything that's been going on for the last couple of months so that we can start fresh. Um, so yes, I had Sky July 30th of 2021. Um, She's gonna be eight months, like I said, and it's been amazing um, being a mother, uh, continuing my career. Um, it's just been, I couldn't have asked for a better baby. Uh, she's just so sweet and wonderful. And I couldn't have asked for a better management team as well, um, who are extremely supportive for when I came back to work. And I really think in order for you to be successful as a parent, it's all about your direct management team and your company and kind of that culture of um, understanding that, you know, you have to be flexible because parenthood is kind of, all over the place and I was very lucky that uh, my team and my customers were extremely um, understanding for you know me coming back to work so I took three months off work I actually had a little bit longer I had about five and a half months off total but I decided to come back early uh, because I'm a workaholic I was ready to come back I didn't want to stay home anymore and I decided to do part-time so for the last since November basically all the way to March um, I was part-time Part-time is very difficult in a sales role, uh, especially in oil and gas where everything's 24 seven. So did I really do part-time? I don't know. Um, you know, I'm sure there was, I kind of just did what I needed. Um, when my nanny would leave at two o'clock, I would just kind of shut, shut down. If obviously if business was pending and I needed to get with meetings or customers were calling, of course I would get on. But if I felt like I was overworking that week, then I would try to take like Friday afternoon off or Fridays off. So it's really easy. Uh, in my opinion, to just try to balance yourself. But I did catch myself a few times where I was like, whoa, I'm supposed to be part time and I'm just like, go, go, go. But it was also my own fault because I want to do a million things at the same time. I want to go to panels. I want to go to conferences. I want to do multiple meetings. So it was also just more of myself of like, hey, calm down. Like you can also, you know, focus on being home and being home with Sky. So um, it's, I've been trying to find that balance. It's not easy. Um, but you know, we're, we're, we're working through it. I received a lot of messages from girls saying like, Hey, I'm pregnant. Um, how was your experience? I'm scared. I'm worried my promotions. And honestly, um, I've written a few posts about this, but that's exactly how I felt. I was scared that my career was going to stall, that I wasn't going to get any more promotions that like my, literally my life was over because I was pregnant. And those were such negative thoughts that I wish I can go back and just tell myself that everything's gonna be totally okay look around you so many women have been through it and come out great and come out on top so it's really all about mindset but also working for an organization and a team that is willing to help mothers and willing to help parents be successful in both their careers and at home 
So that's really key. Um, like I said to a lot of you, who, you know, broken the news to me that you're pregnant is like, don't worry, don't think the same way that I did. I wish I could go back and just tell myself that everything was going to be okay. And this is just a perfect example of me, you know, getting a promotion and moving on and going to Mexico. And this is shortly after coming back from maternity leave. So like, I'm a perfect example that like your career is not over and that you can continue to thrive um, if that's what you want. And if you, you know, work really hard and continue to be focused on your career, even if you're a mom. So you don't have, to, in my opinion, you don't have to choose one or the other. It's really all about trying to find a balance that works for you. And my balance will not look like yours. Um, so just, you know, don't try to compare your journey to other people's journey. Um, so yeah, so I will be moving to Mexico to Villa Hermosa and we're super excited. I'm assuming probably end of May we'll be there. So a lot has to happen before we move. We need to, we need to figure out if we're going to sell our house. We need to sell our car. We need to get all our three dogs vaccinated and gosh knows what else we need to do to bring these three dogs over to Mexico. Um, then we need to go find a place in Mexico. We need, like, there's so much going on. Just this week alone, I've received a million emails about, you know, you're moving. I am X person to help you to move this and your, your stuff and I'm your relocation this. So it's just, there's a lot going on. I still haven't even met my team in Mexico. Um, I'm very excited uh, to just start something completely fresh and new. Obviously, I'm worried because nobody knows who I am there. And I feel like I've done a really hard job for the last four years to have a presence in the US and have people know me. So it's all about kind of restarting all of these relationships and uh, just connections in Mexico. Um, but, you know, getting out of your comfort zone is really how you're going to grow. Um, so I am super excited and very lucky that Tim, my husband, is flexible. He's very supportive. And when we received the news that we were going to be moving somewhere, um, he was very open about it. He was very much like, whatever is good for your career will go where you need to go. And I know that's really hard to find. So I'm very grateful for that. And also, we've just been lucky that he can work remote because his team is remote. So it's been very helpful overall um, to continue this, this journey uh, with my career. So I will be, you know, like I said, taking you guys along, maybe do a few videos of us moving to Mexico, what our new place looks like, where I'm going to be working, continue to share my journey. Um, because I know that this is exciting for a lot of you to just kind of like see me go through it. And it's exciting for me to be able to give back and show you that you can too, um, that it's really all just about um, your mindset. And uh, yeah, just to make it quick, um, it was about three-ish months of finding me a new role and a new country and where we were going. So the process is extremely long. I don't know if it works like this in every company, but um, I completely understand we're a global company and moving people is not as easy as many of us think. I just thought like, oh, here, here's a country, find me a cool role, let's move on. But it seems to be a lot harder than that. And um, I've had a few different offers of going different places that just didn't work really well with our current situation. And even though Tim's flexible, we also didn't necessarily want to like move across the world um, and be really, really far away from our family, especially with an eight month old baby and three dogs. Um, so in that moment in time when we, we received a few pretty far offers, you know, location wise, even though the role was something that would have been great for my career, it was also a balance of, I also don't want my family to be, um, you know, on balance. And I felt like moving to some of these countries wouldn't be like super fair for Tim or fair for our dogs just because it wasn't like a dog friendly com country. So just kind of like those kind of things were really difficult to try to match. Um, it's funny because everyone would always say like, you, can, you can't have it all. You can't pick a location, you can't pick a title, you can't pick the compensation. Like all of these things that you want, you need a certain percentage of what you're willing to, to accept. So whether you want a really good location, but not take like a super big role or a big title or take high, high compensation, but the country sucks. So it was a lot of trying to figure out, you know, what balance I wanted. And luckily, Mexico couldn't have been like a better place for us because we wanted to stay close to Houston. Obviously, flipping the barrels, continuing. Jamie and I are super excited to continue our path and expand it international. So flipping the barrels, going full throttle. We've got so many amazing guests coming this year. So that's not going anywhere. 
but also it was going to be very difficult for me to attend you know conferences and meetings and things if i was really really far while as mexico is very close to houston and i can come really whenever i want and um, that's what's going to happen i'm going to continue to come to houston and kind of continue that network here with flip in the barrel and um mexico was just an easy country for us to move to because we've been there countless times over the last few years so it wasn't a big we're moving to you know thailand or we're moving to middle east like it was just a we're going to mexico we've been there before should be fine so yeah those are that's my update there's been so many ups and downs in the last three months i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of offers to go to different companies to stay in the u.s um and it's kind of that pivotal moment in my career it's gonna mark 10 years that i've been here in may so it was also a lot of me looking into my career and thinking like is this the positive move for me is this what i want out of my career is this going to take me to where i want in the next five years or should i take a step back leave go pursue my aspirations in another company because i see myself getting there faster or you know whatever it is that my end goals are and um I have a big board of directors on, you know, on my life where I go for advice, mentorship, friends, colleagues that I bounce ideas off. And overall, the majority of, of my board of directors for my life, everyone thought staying was the best idea for me and that gaining international experience was a very important like value for not only myself, but for the company. And that, that this was huge for my resume, saying that I'm, I've worked in Mexico or that I've worked international. Um, so I totally agree with them. I think having that international um, experience is going to go far, you know, far. And then also for me, I'm just going to learn how business works outside of the U.S. and outside of Canada. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you guys for coming on this journey. Um, send me an email or comment down below if you have any questions or if there's anything that is specific that you want me to talk about. Um, and I would love to show you guys Villa Hermosa and kind of like the whole package of how you move, how you relocate and just keep you guys um, up to date on my journey. So sorry for not being on YouTube for the last year, probably. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. And that's my big news. So see you soon, Mexico.